Hey guys, here we got Nexus Wars, Starcraft, Heart of the Swarm. And here we got a really good game uh, between two teams. Uh, we do have three people dropping off right at the beginning. But it makes a really good team with two people on the left side and two people um, and three people on the right side. So on the right side, on, let's start with the left side first. We have here Dimebag Hell. We have Nasty uh, Nate. And we're, they're gonna play against uh, myself here and Luke the Great. And at the bottom we have Acid Rain. So let's speed this up two times and see how this goes. So we start with uh, here a Zergling, Infester, and two Marines. And uh, so that's from Dime Bag. And Nasty Nate is getting f going for Reapers, Hellions, and uh, Marines, so really mixed up. On the other side here, Luke uh, is going for a Protoss, and I'm going for Marines, a lot of Marines. You'll see that uh, later in the game. And here, Acid Rain also opened up with three Marines, and, and uh, Luke also brought in a Protoss um, Zealot on the bottom here. Uh, the marines on the left are coming out already, here we have the first fight. The investor is of course acting as a different unit. Um, <coughs> so here we got a... So here we, uh, we got a pause for a second there. So here we got, he's, he's actually shooting the marines and he's also doing fungal growth. On the bottom we got the marines uh, pushing forward with the zealot. Of course making short work of these two guys. And pushing in deeper, um, but here, um, da uh, Diamond Back, who I can't pronounce his name, Diamond Back Hell is gonna make some more units uh, quite soon. On top, uh, we have the Hellbat coming out, and he's going to actually do quite a good job because on this side, remember, we only have Marines. So on my side, you have now six Marines built. Uh, here comes out the the Sentry. And on the bottom we have the Reaper coming out together with the Marines and the Zealot. Uh, they do manage to come through to the, to the base here. But the SCV, this is the SCV actually um, of Dimebag and, and also Nastinade. They're, they're helping clean that up. It's uh, of course much easier in the beginning to use the, the SCVs to do the cleanup. You don't need to use a nuke for that naturally. Here we're starting to make a kind of, my idea was to make a kind of a ball of marines. Um, already have seven marines with two income. Uh, on, so on our side we have here two marines and a reaper and two zealots and two sentries. This, um, the infestors are actually doing a really good job. Uh, you will see uh, fungal growth coming down soon. Um, and he's building more and more of them on, on this side. So here we see with uh, dime bag we got zerglings we got here uh, already the pylon is working so that's quite early that's earlier than anybody else the pylon is giving of course 16 income but no units um, and we got two infester uh, infester nests uh, building and but on the bottom here um, the marines and the reapers have made it into the base and this is putting a lot of pressure on this team. Still, they're not actually going. They're not giving up so easily. They are going to manage to come out of it. So two marines, uh, three infestors, and a pylon and a zergling nest for Dimebag. And for Nastinade, we got a marine, a reaper, a hellion, and hellbat, and, and siege tank. So here the, the battles uh, look like this with the marines and the sentries with the shield but this the fire bat is really doing actually great job later on uh, we see that i remember the infester here uh, is not doing too great alone uh, on the bottom there is a push come in and the cannon finally comes in to clean this up now the cannon is very important it's gonna clean this up the scvs are gonna repair it uh, but it doesn't give any income whatsoever and uh, it's actually creating a lot of problems for the team here. The investors come out, uh, help clean this up. Another cannon is coming up, uh, but this is killing a lot of income on this side. Uh, on top, we're also passing through, and it looks like uh, we are winning, but actually, um, the game is going to start turning quite soon. Uh, here we see 
the, the siege tanks uh, building up on top there are two siege tanks now, uh, siege tank depots and the cannon here uh, together with the SCVs managed to clean this up there is a new uh, used uh, bug here that's gonna clean up that uh, ball which built up on top and here they start already building up uh, a kind of a death ball of their own uh, which is starting to be lethal on the bottom as well the infestors now have this fungal growth so they're, they're picking up the marines and, and whatnot uh, one by one of course alone is not going to do anything I keep pressuring here with my marines you see here I have 14 uh, barracks already built here we got a stalker and two sentries and a zealot and on the bottom we got already uh, a hellion and a medivac uh, with marauders uh, coming through uh, all done by acid rain on the bottom uh, and acid rain is attacking their base but confronting this cannon and here uh, three SCVs are actually repairing that cannon up above we also have another cannon and the marines are dying quite fast actually because you got the cannon you got the fungal growth and the tanks and this is like a beginning of a kind of a cone uh, where they keep on building up so here now uh, there are three siege tank depots you got the hellion and you got the, the reaper the marine and the cannon on the bottom one-on-one -on -one the siege tank versus the the hellion the hellion always in this map goes back and front the marauders are a really good counter here for the siege tank but not the marines and infestors up above again uh, we're trying to assault the cannon but it's not working out because you have four scvs actually repairing it so just the marines are not enough uh, to take this down uh, in upgrades I actually took already the combat shields the marines are uh, 55 lives so I, I'm the first one here to upgrade uh, still bring them in soon I'm gonna buy them the, the steam pack so looking back at the structures I have now 14 uh, marine barracks and I start on the marauders and up above here a look is going for sentries and uh, down below um, acid rain gets the first pylon for our team while here the pylon is already standing for both of them so uh, giving 16 additional income and infester nests coming through uh, and here is the beginning of this uh, kind of a turning point where uh, the warhound and the siege tanks and, and infestors are kind of uh, making a difference. Uh, Warhound of course plus 8 income, siege tanks plus 6 income uh, so th they start pushing and especially because the marines are, are coming kind of in one line and not together um, and that's probably because of the way I structured um, the buildings although I synchronized them they, they c they're coming out in one straight line uh, exactly the way the buildings are built so you see here in the minimap also a kind of a straight line going to them and this is making it easier for them to, to kind of um, pick them off one by one while building their own kind of a death ball up here on the bottom acid rain just continues pushing is bringing in the medivac to heal the, the marauders but there's more and more infester nets coming through and the warhound also coming at the bottom and one drone repairing the cannon and just holding that bottom while above you have the, the tanks are um, just pushing through marines coming one by one they just cannot reach them the range is not enough and I do notice that but maybe a bit late and so I'm adding up some marauder uh, marauders here and uh, adding up medivacs and, and hellion but I must say I'm maybe a little bit late with this uh, because they are uh, doing this and I'm thinking already I should go air to clean this up but I'm not sure um, because I have my, my mindset to put upgrades in the ground and so I'm still not doing it um, I do see though that my ally here Luke is going for scouts so that reassures me not to go for air myself and to kind of support from the ground uh, on the bottom here um, acid rain is, is pushing with medivacs, with banshees, a really mixed combination fire bands, zealots, 
you got pretty much everything here if you look at acid rain he's got the, the pylon i also have the pylon and everybody has it but now here you have nastinate at pylon level three um or three pylons um which is strange because normally you're supposed to upgrade them <coughs> and a level two pylon here for a dime bag <coughs> and here we got more and more siege tanks running through and you got the death ball here the scouts trying to shoot them the marines coming through um being healed up with the combat shields um actually the steam pack is still not there uh, maybe I'm getting it much later, I don't remember exactly very well. So the tanks are doing a really good job pushing through, but the scouts, as you see, are just hovering above them and just cutting them down, uh, and I bring my SCV to help clean up the tanks. While at the bottom here, you have continued push by Acid Rain, but here you got also a nice uh, kind of a grouping with the uh, Warhounds and Infestors pushing through and the medivacs by themselves are not able to uh, heal up just one uh, one marauder at a time at the bottom here you have uh, two medivacs coming through and banshees and, and also ghosts and a bunch more of marauders um, this one zealot is still left over from the beginning and I keep pumping out more marauders because marauders are of course a good uh, counter to the tanks and here Luke is going for a lot of scouts uh, and a phoenix uh, to take the sky and, and that's very good because when I saw that happening I started pushing the ground even stronger still don't have that steam pack but we do have a ball already going through and here this is what I was talking about all this fungal is really uh, wrecking uh, havoc on, on our team there look at all this fungal eating the marines I mean that is just a lot and they did a really good job just three infestors did a lot of damage here at the bottom a whole group of infestors and warhounds and banshees and vikings are really pushing forward which is really not stoppable at this point so I call out for the bottom uh, but we are probably going to nuke that which is uh, why everybody is uh, relaxed on top here we are pushing quite strongly uh, with scouts with sentries and, and my marauder marine combination um, let's see on upgrades for now um, acid rains got a steam pack and double heal from the medivacs I'm still with only the combat shield and Luke has got the gravity thrusters for the scout anytime now I will get the steam pack also Looking at the structure, so here this this uh, team got nuked. Um, I, I missed it to, to look at it. Here they nuked us, so all of that died. Uh, so all those nukes are getting used up. So you have a whole range of troops running on top and a whole range on the bottom. So it, it's basically a push. Uh, bottom is winning for them and top is winning for us. Um, here I think I already have the uh, steam pack. And I start working on the Terran infantry upgrades 2 and 1. So the Marauders and Marines are much stronger pushing through. But that's not the end of the story actually. Which is why I recorded this game. Um, decided to cast it because it was a good game. Because it doesn't stop here. Uh, they actually of course block this off with a nuke right there. Cleaning it all up. And uh, just reversing the rolls and pushing it back. Uh, at the bottom they're still pushing with battle cruisers, vikings, banshees, everything and here we put up uh, three cannons and you see all the SCVs here that's also an SCV by the way, that's not a unit uh, repairing uh, unsuccessfully I must say here they're putting quite a lot of pressure on these cannons and all of us trying to repair it, it's not working out so well on the left side here I have uh, three, two upgrades now trying to push this through but again you have two cannons now you have the, the brood lords and the infestors, warhounds and siege tanks just cleaning this up but the second it's cleaned up more units are coming in just like a uh, non-stop wave of units coming through on the bottom here uh, another new cleaned that up and um, now more and more battle cruisers, infestors and warhounds are coming through 
pushing quite hard um, on top more and more brood lords are gathering so you see four now at this point i'm upgrading my uh, attack and, and armor so the the brood lords are doing much less damage to my units let's look at the structures so here we have dime bag with a, the first zergling of course the two uh two cannons 11 infester uh, nests you got queens two queens uh five mutalisks Actually, I didn't even notice uh, these, but of, of course these are not mutalists, sorry, these are the brood lords. Uh, here they just keep on gathering, you'll see a huge army of them later on. Um, and uh, so where was I? And then here you got the hydralisks, and you have the pylon at level 3, giving 64 income. And the two marines from the beginning for nasty nade. You got the pylons, you got the photon cannons. The siege tank. Um, and here is a big battle going on where we lose the cannon. Here we got the siege tanks. You got the Vikings. You got three warhounds, a hellion, a banshee, a medivac, and eight battle cruisers. Really pushing at the bottom here. Nine battle cruisers. And on Duke, he's got the starting units. He's going heavy scout. Uh, six scouts here. Um, he stopped at 6 though, he didn't continue and instead he's getting carriers now uh, as a kind of a counter and an upgrade also starting to do that and I'm still heavy on marines, marauders and I started getting um, a ghost for uh, for snipe uh, because, uh, because I have so much upgrades um, on, on infantry and still continuing to do that into the late game here uh, this is still a stalemate uh, we do come all the way up to here but together with the cannons and the brute lords we don't actually manage to pass this line uh, at the bottom here more and more vikings are being brought forward to fight these battle cruisers and carriers also are coming down at the bottom side uh, let's switch to the upgrade we see here three three for me uh, still uh, nobody else is going through it um, here the Vikings are starting to push together with the carriers on top. We got more and more of these brood lords coming through. Uh, the Marines and the Scouts and the Phoenix are coming in. Um, and it's just but they're not able to pass this line. It's unbelievable. More investors coming in with the fungal growth. Just cleaning that up. Warhounds and the tanks just cleaning this here. Over here it's starting to, uh, it's a beginning of a build up of a kind of a cone, you see the three carriers on top and the vikings and it's building like a kind of a cone shape, uh, slowly forming uh, and pushing the bottom. This was critical to build a kind of this cone shape and keep on pushing those carriers of course doing a lot of damage. On top here you see like already a lot of root lords, a corruptor inside there. Um, just cleaning up this line together with the cannons which are being repaired and just unable to pass through although the marines already fought armor and free uh, with with all of course also the steam pack still um, already used for that marine actually um, so a lot of upgrades here uh, we got Luke already doing Protoss weapon upgrades for his scout but still unable to break this line and at the bottom here the cone is starting to build there's a lot of battle cruisers and, and uh, vikings in there but uh, actually if i click on them there are no upgrades also, uh, on the vikings so there's nothing on infestors or anything so it's no upgrades but they're pushing quite well thor's coming in already to go anti in the air and the carriers going down and, and this death ball manages to win and prevent that cone shape from building. On the top left side here already a quite strong line of root lords and infestors. And here I start building the a lot of Vikings. Uh, so um, while my while Luke here is working on upgrades, I'm going a lot more marauders, more Vikings. And on the bottom here you got Thors coming through, Vikings. Um, and, and here I nuke this whole army of battle cruisers which gives us a chance to just regroup here one two three four five six carriers coming up from above stores from the center 
and 9, 10, 11, 12 Vikings coming from the bottom. This is definitely going to kind of clean up this mess from a kind of a, you see, a large cone surround attack. While on top here, it's more and more corruptors, more and more broodlords. So we're unable to pass this line still, but they are also unable to push forward. Marauders are here. Uh, four, five armor. It's actually more, uh, more armor than the broodlings. Uh, broodlings don't even hurt them actually. So we got here uh, just keeping on fighting over here. This cone shape is getting built up very nicely, uh, starting to clean it up, and and now they're trickling in one by one. The broodlords are coming in here, but it's all air. There's a little bit of thors, of course, but it's not. Uh, that's not uh, going to scare. Uh, scare here is it rain because the brood lords are too few and here it's mostly crazy air army so many vikings now already just making a cone together with the thors and the carrier starting to slowly push the bottom on top here a massive amount of brood lords uh, but still more uh, carriers are coming in above also to support uh, here you see a huge amount of viking um, uh, structures I built, also the upgraded um, pylon, um, push this and, and clean this up. On the bottom here a very strong cone is built up with a massive amount of vikings. On the bottom all those stores with carriers coming through pushing this. Infestors throwing in fungal growth, but it's just not enough for this. You need ideally like size storm, maybe on top, just keep on pushing. Uh, but still, that line is just not breaking. So many brood lords and battleships now helping it out. Actually, a little bit pushing us here on, on top, but a really good job done here uh, by the guys on top. But very, very strong cone just pushing on the bottom. So many battle cruisers coming in, but the damage output here is insane. You see the upgrades um, now already. Uh, everybody's got uh, a lot of upgrades. Acid Rain has got a 1111 uh, upgrades on, on a lot of things while I'm going strong on infantry and. Uh, ship weapons the reason I'm getting of course ship weapons because of all this insane amount of Vikings that I'm building You see here the Vikings are already gathering up this this is gonna clean up all these broodlords That was of course the strategy I adapted to the broodlords, but they didn't adapt to our Vikings That was adaptation of course is the name of this game looking at uh, Spending is not I guess not a good idea looking at unit composition here um, we got 18, uh, brood, uh, 15, 14 brood lords, um, but they are confront uh, together with the 13 Vikings at the bottom here uh, with 15 battle cruisers. But all of this is confronted by uh, a lot of interceptors here uh, from from the carriers, of course, 20 carriers. We got 55 Vikings coming through, 25 Thors with 60. Uh, 60 more Vikings I and mean, just an insane cone here. I mean, this is just quite ruthless already. Um, let's take off already, um, or let's look at the upgrades once more, uh, because here everybody is getting higher and higher upgrades. I'll switch them back on. Let's see over here. The Vikings have managed to clean up the the brood lords and. Um, pushing in already and all those marines and marauders on the bottom are able to already with the steam packs and everything uh, help clean things up vikings of course managing to rule the air here the carriers the stores and the vikings are just cleaning this up um, and and more and more battle cruisers are coming in but you see they're trickling in they're not uh, synchronized it's of course very very difficult to synchronize and look at all these infester nests and there's an Odin hero, which is not the best hero to get. Maybe Kerrigan would have been a better choice uh, with a side storm um, that could have really helped make a hole in this. Although there is so much, especially the Thors take up so much space. A lot of infestors doing fungal growth. Fungal growth is actually quite good for this, uh, but still, I think maybe side storm would have been better. 
in here um, still not managing to break through a lot more broodlords a lot of battleships coming through uh, but similarly uh, you see a whole line of blue um, coming through blue and uh, purple there is now a lot of vikings build the marines and the ghosts sniping um, the ghosts are of course so small you can't see them but they do a good job in, in sniping the enemy here a nuke is coming through so let's have a look at that bam and all those carriers just go away uh, all together and only the thors are left so this is a good opportunity uh, but already the gg is being thrown uh, you have all these stores still alive and more and more carriers coming through up above uh, we're still pushing through this uh, non uh, penetrable wall uh, so much damage being done if you switch to the upgrades we see now two two three three uh, upgrades um, uh, across and uh, structures are are immense uh, there are 16 uh, uh broodlord structures uh, there are 20 battle cruiser structures uh on the top team uh, which is quite a lot but of course not comparable to the bottom side where there are uh, so many vikings and carriers and thors um, is just a lot uh, switching to the upgrades to keep an eye on that you see here acid rain uh, doing all kinds of upgrades keeping it balanced the thors are already moving into the enemy base uh, up above you see that the carriers uh, are pushing through together with all these vikings and finally getting the creatures uh, destroyed uh, uh, the structures destroyed at the bottom still uh, being stopped by crazy amount of infestors and vikings and battle cruisers the bottom is not really moving uh, but the top is really cleaning through uh, so many vikings they're just gonna come and stand here and rest and not really do anything because the air uh, is already dom uh, dominated and so the ground forces all these marines and the marauders and the ghosts are are just cleaning things up uh, their upgrades are, are quite high if my memory serves me 6 armor, actually you can't see it here so that's pointless I'll close that but you have here on the Marauders 6 armor, 3 uh, attack that of course uh, made them completely immune to the Broodlords on the Vikings you, you have 2 armor, 4 attack on the Carriers you have 5 attack, 3 defense on the Thors you have three shield, um, uh, shield sorry, three ar uh, four, three armor and three attack. On Odin here is gonna try to fight, but he's gonna go down valiantly. Uh, on Infestors here you don't have any upgrades. That could have been one of the issues. On Balcruisers you do have four, 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 uh, but it's only on Balcruisers. So it's basically a very upgraded army fighting a not upgraded army the uh, the vikings are of course also upgraded the thor uh, the odin is only one one fighting all the thors but alone of course you cannot manage there's so many um, more and more uh, creatures are coming out from the structures but it's just above cleanup operation pushing through um, and just uh, killing off the nexus any moment now the odin has been killed fungal growth all over the place the infectors are fighting to the end and any moment now all these vikings so many vikings already taken the air and finally the nexus destroyed i think it was a really good and fun uh fun match to fight you see here all the structures which are left so a lot of vikings marines marauders uh, you have here a huge amount of fleet beacons um, which really help the Thors coming through from these structures with the Vikings and the starting units over here. So, so that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.